Now, I remember, let me tell you something, Stacy. I remember just very vividly when I was working on Wall Street in the 1980s. Every Friday, we used to have cocktails on Park Avenue and watch this parade of limousines travel down Park Avenue into the basement of Citibank. Everyone knew this was money that was being laundered by Citibank from drug money. This was an open secret. Nobody doubted this. So I'm glad to see now, 20, at least 20, 25 years later, people are beginning to understand that the global finance community, the global banking system, runs entirely on cocaine money. So when they say, well, why is the war on drugs failing? Because they need the cash to run the banks. Why is the drug problem so rampant around the world? Because bankers need that money to pay their bonuses. The bankers, when we say bankers are terrorists and they kill people, and they have the moral equivalency of a Mexican drug lord lopping the head off a baby to support their crime syndicate, that's what we mean. They're, they're, they're the same, they're the same two faces of the same coin. They're terrorists. Blank fine, diamond, uh, Jose, uh, whomever, drug lord. They're all terrorists. They all revolve around cocaine and money laundering. And we, now we know it, unequivocally, based on the Gretchen Morganson's report and others, Wachovia Bank, of course, Warren Buffett's now involved with that. Who knows what Charlie Munger's habit is? The guy must be a horse.